What up YouTube, it's your boy NBM back again with another one and today I got something real cool for you. Studio One 5 just dropped they new little dog. Studio One just dropped a new update. They got the Studio uh, One 5 now. So, what I think about the doll, I think it's, you know, I think it's dope. I like it, you know what I'm saying? I see they've been listening to the fans or whatever. But, today is not about a review about Studio One. It's about me dropping a cool free preset for the ones who've been showing love to me. So therefore, I got a stock preset for you guys, which is pretty dope too, which is stock, but it also has uh, Antarius on there. Cause I don't know if a lot of y'all have Melodyne or if you have, you know, if you have, if you have uh, Antarius, then you, one second. Hey, party, chill out. I don't know if you guys have Antarius Auto Tunes or whatever you have, you can use it. Just make sure you follow the key of the song, drop it in there and you'll be good to go. I got a Wave Studio uh, preset. Um, I got a Waves Vox preset, which includes Auto Tune. Only thing you gotta do is just find the key of your song, place the key on Auto Tune and you're good to go. Oh, also make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification to keep you in tune with all the latest content. Also drop a comment below. Let me know how you guys feel about the content. Even if you want to learn something, just leave it in the comments. I'll tackle it. For those of you who asking me for uh, Apollo, I don't have the Apollo no more, but I can make a workaround for you and try to make something happen for you. So um, just hit me on Instagram, man, and I'll go live with you on the phone. And you know what I mean? Just hit me on the Instagram live thing, and I'll go live with you, and we can chop it up. And whatever you need to know, I got you. Just remember, I'll go live with you on Instagram. That's cool. I ain't even tripping. You know what I'm saying? I'm about helping. Bam. Hey. That's it, but before we dive into this tutorial, y'all already know what we gotta do first, man. We gotta roll that intro. Let's get it. All right, cool, so we about to get it cracking. Like I said, I'm gonna just play the song, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna drag this tutorial on. Um, I'm gonna play the song without the presets applied to it, let you hear it dry. You may not be able to hear the vocal because the vocal kind of low without the preset because like I said, I like to record all my uh, vocals. I like to record them low, you know what I mean? That way I can add whatever I want to add to them, especially like a limiter or something like that to push my vocal without it distorting anything like that. So these presets, the only thing you got to do, the volume level will be pretty settled and ready to go. All you got to do is just move the volumes up and down. But if you want to change anything in these presets, you can, which is cool, you know what I mean? So. Let's play it back and get started. Let's see, I'll play it from right here because it's not even on the verse. So I just laid a little Fugazi hook for y'all real quick, something to just, so I can put some uh, auto-tune to it, give you guys like a Vox preset, something where you guys can use auto-tune. And the only thing you gotta do with it is actually just find the key of your song and place it in auto-tunes and then I'll show you guys that in a minute. Let's go. All right, cool. So like I said, I was going to play it without the preset. So let's start off with the uh, stock preset that I created. Just all stock plugins. The only thing not stock is auto tunes. I haven't uh, dib and dab with Melodyne yet, which I know how to use, but I prefer auto tune. So if you got auto tune, if you don't got auto tunes, just go grab it. It's not that expensive. It's pretty cheap. You can actually grab, you know, the little small one they got the auto tunes pro. Um, let's see. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the effects chain and then it should be in here I got a lot of baby presets baby stock baby waves baby uh, the baby uh, let's see NBM stock preset 5 I believe this is it I need to rename it Vox or something like that so the only thing you might want to do let's see so let's play it real quick with it on No a nigga been nice. Moving through these streets, got my money, man, it been right. Yeah. I don't like you niggas, never did, boy, y'all ain't right. No. Hopping on my shit, just making moves, keep my gang tight. Right. Bitch, I'm on my shit, you niggas know a nigga been nice. Been nice. Moving through these streets, got my money, man, it been right. Yeah. I don't like you.
Fuck you niggas never did, boy, y'all ain't right. Hopping on my shit, just making moves, keep my kicks out. Like I said, the um, auto-tune, all you got to do is find the key of your song. I made this track in the E minor, so I knew it was E minor, so I scaled it to E minor. And um, all I did was retune it fast. I turned the uh, humanize up to 10, just to kind of still give it some of my uh, human voice. Just, you know, it won't be too robotic. And then um, that's it. I didn't mess with anything else. The input type, I put at bass. But pay attention to your scale. You may be, you know, you may be a soprano or alto, you know what I mean? But if you're a male, you can do it in low male, but I like to use bass. I think it's it sounds a little dope to me. I like to use that one. So I did with that. So like I said, just find a key of your song and then you'll be cool to go with that. And then I added a gate plug in. Now, if you want to, you can actually dial the gate back. If it's too much gate, you know what I mean? You can actually dial it back, but I set a point to my vocals. I'm using the SM7B, so if you're using this mic, then this preset will definitely work good for you. With any mic, it'll work good. Just, you know, you may have to change a few settings. So I got the gate. The only thing with the gate I messed with was the threshold. I didn't mess with anything else on top of that. And then I got the uh, Pro EQ. I've already did a little bit of surgery for you guys. Uh, some of the frequencies that I tend to take out during most of the vocals I record are people who send me sessions. Well, most of the time, these are the frequencies that's in it. You know, uh, you may be recording in an untreated room, so this will definitely help you. And then I added the gate also because if your room, if your room is untreated, the gate plug in to definitely help you. Yo, y'all got to make sure y'all paying attention to this, man, because the funny part about it is when I give you guys presets, I get a lot of people like, yo, where you put the preset? That just let me know that you guys are not watching the video that you just downloading the preset and you're not watching it. I need y'all to watch it, man. It, it helps my channel out. If not, man, I'm going to have to, you know what I mean? I'm going to have to change the videos up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just... uh. Like I said, I did a little surgery for you guys. I took out some of the bad frequencies that, you know, normally tends to be in a room if it's an untreated area. So, which was only three, because this microphone is pretty, it's dynamic, it's, it's just, it's solid all the way around, man. Like, it's very quiet. I don't tend to get too much noise. I got an AC running, sometimes I don't hear that. But if I do, the SSL channel, well, not the SSL channel, but the gate plug-in and this plug-in kind of helps me to treat the vocal to where you won't hear too much stuff in the background. Like I said, I got a bird in the background always talking when I'm talking, so I try to shut him up with the uh, gate plug-in. And then from there, I added a, another, oh, that's the Pro EQ. I already showed y'all that. Hold on. And then I added the compressor to it, which is the tube comp, a little tube compression, which is pretty dope. You know, I got the gain up. But if it's too much gain for you, you can actually dial it back a little bit or whatever. Take the gain and dial it back. Um, the peak reduction, you might want to keep it where it's at. You can hit, like I, with this with this compressor, I tend to hit um, past five, touching seven just a little bit. This is a little different from the CLA-2A to me. It has a different type of sound. So with this one, I can tend to hit around seven. With the CLA-2A, I can't really hit there that much because it sounds like it's crushing it. So with this, I, I noticed with this uh, plug-in that it wasn't crushing it. It actually gave me the tone that I was looking for. It kind of gave me that, you know, almost warmth sound that I wanted. So you guys can definitely throw that one in there. But if this is a compressor that you don't want to use, you can just click on this down arrow right here. You got the standard, you know, you got the uh, tube and you got the FET. So you can use this one if you want to. But if not, I just recommend staying with what you got right here. Cool. All right. And then I added uh, a little top end to it. <clears throat> with another pro eq too so you can definitely you know what i mean i like the little over i like the look of it now man the look of these plugins are, are super dope you know what i mean and then um you can actually you know if, if 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 it's too much uh if it's too much on the highs what you can do is you can either just get rid of the uh high mid frequency if you want to take that one off if it's too much you know you may have a mic that tends to have a little you know have a little eq kind of sound to it like those uh, Ashton mics, them, them mics just sound like they got EQ in them. So if that's the case, you know, click on the HMF, the high mid frequency, and just turn the uh, high frequency down, just bring the knob down. Right now I got it to 6 dB. You can just bring it down a little bit, you know, if it's too high, and then bring it down to your taste to see how you like it. All right. And then I have another compressor on it, which this compressor is not really uh, um, smashing anything or being a compressor is playing as a, a de-esser because I know um, Presonus, that's another thing I just kind of wish they would have just made a separate uh, de-esser plug-in because <clears throat> I'm going to just be honest with you, I don't like the de-esser that you have to use from the compressor. I don't like it. It just, it doesn't fit to me. Like, you know, you have to play with it in order to get that sound. So 
I definitely got it good for y'all, you know what I mean? And if it's too much DSing, all you got to do is dial the threshold back. I got it to 38. You can bring it down some if you want to. If it's too much, bring it down, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, that's it with that one. And then I added the, let's move this out the way. Now I added a limiter to it. This one is just to push the vocal a little bit to where you guys, all you guys got to do is just go up and down with it. You don't have to do too much. And then the cool part about this is I didn't add a um, reverb to it. I thought maybe you may want to bust a reverb. So if you don't know how to bust a reverb, all you got to do is go to send, add a send, and then in here you'll see add a bus channel. Most people create an effects channel, but I like to add a bus channel. It kind of reminds me of Logic just, you know, sending buses like that. So just um, change it to reverb if you want. And then you can use the stock reverb if you need to. Now, with the, uh, with the volume, it's at negative 6.3, but I like to take it to zero. Well, plus to zero, whatever. And then let's go over to uh, room reverb. Here we go. And then just add the room reverb to it. And then, you know, in here you can choose what uh, reverb you want to use. Let me turn it down real quick. Uh, what I do with it? Whoa, 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 right. Let me turn it down a little bit. Let me turn it down first, and then we can add in the reverb. So let's dial in the reverb. Normally, sometimes I like to use the, uh, I like to use the flat plate. And then from the flat plate, I, I keep it at room. Um, let's see, the dry and wet is, it's already set. So let's, um, let's play it and then turn the reverb up. I'm on my shit, you niggas know a nigga been nice Moving through these streets, got my money, man, it been right I don't like you niggas, never did, boy, y'all ain't right I been on my shit, just making moves, keep my gang tight Bitch, I'm on my shit, you niggas know a nigga been nice Moving through these streets, got my money, man, it been right I don't like you niggas, never did, boy, y'all ain't right I been on my shit, just making moves, keep my gang tight yeah, so like I said, you can add some reverb, and then if you want to add a delay, you can also add a delay to your song. All you do, all you got to do is just go to send again. I didn't put it on these chains because it kind of takes the volume away with these plugins, especially doing it stock. I kind of hear the volume going away, and once you uh, once you click them off, the volume tends to just bump right back in. So I don't put them on here. Like this is just a, just a chain to start you off with, and then you can add the reverb, you can add the delay if you want to. Which, you know, I don't add too much reverb to my vocals, but I do like to add delay. So if you want to bust another delay, just add another bust, you know, bring it down and then just go to a delay. You can use, um, let's see, for a stock. Um, I tend to use a beat delay. Uh, quarter note. Let's see. Let's bring this down. Let's bring this up a little bit. Okay. Uh, all right, and let's let's see, let's play it. Oh, it's on a limiter right now, right? It's on a beat delay. Bitch, I'm on my shit. You niggas know a nigga been nice. Moving through these streets, got my money, man, it been right. I don't like you niggas, never did, boy, y'all ain't right. I been on my shit, just making moves, keep my gang tight. Bitch, I'm on my shit. You niggas know a nigga been nice. Moving through these streets, got my money, man, it been right. I don't like you niggas, never did, boy, y'all ain't right. I been on my shit, just making moves, keep my gang tight. I'm on my shit, you niggas know a nigga been nice Moving through these streets, got my money, man, it been right I don't like you niggas, never did, boy, y'all ain't right I been on my shit, just making move So, I put it on double So, like I said, you can use that That's another dope part about that You can actually use the beat delay for that You know what I mean? And then um, you'll be set with that And then, what I did also I actually uh, made one for the, um, the ad lib so let's just click on the one that's go that goes for ad lib, go to vocal. And I'll show you how to install these presets also. NBM stock add five. I did five because of Studio Five. So now with this one, I kind of put a flanger on it. I put um almost kind of a, a radio effect on it a little bit. And then let's see, there was something else I wanted to do. 
Now, if you want to, okay, yeah, that'll be with the waves part. So, let's play this one. Keep my gangs out, bitch. I'm on my shit. You niggas know a nigga been nice. Moving through the streets, got my money, man. It been right. I don't like you niggas, never did, boy. I ain't right. Hopping on my shit, just making moves. Keep my gangs out. Know a nigga been nice. Moving through the streets, got my money, man. It been right. I don't like you niggas, never did, boy. I ain't right. Hopping on my shit, just making moves. Keep my gangs out, bitch. I'm on my shit. You niggas know. So you can hear like the bah, bah, you know what I mean? Like the extra effects to the to the actual talk track to kind of give it more of hype, more of a hype and sound. So that's, you know, these are the two uh, presets I'm giving you for the stock, man, which is, you know, which is dope. I'll be using these in my arsenal, you know what I mean? Like I said, if you want to dial some stuff back, you can. You know, that's what these presets are for, is for you to throw in your vocals and be just ready to go to start mixing your song. Now, most of you can just throw these on, turn the volume up and down to your liking to see where you want it to sit. Like I said, if you want it to sit above the track a little bit, you can. If you want it to sit with the track, you can. So that's why I created the limiters to give you that volume. Now, let's remove these. Remove all. Remove all. And then let's remove... Uh, let's remove uh. all right cool so this is for my wave heads so the same thing with the waves preset all you got to do is just click on the little down arrow right here go to vocals and then this one will be um nbm vox i actually named this nbm wave vox so this is the wave vox version of the waves so let's play it real quick so you guys can get a feel of this one Bitch, I'm on my shit, you niggas know a nigga been nice Moving through these streets, got my money, man, it been right I don't like you niggas, never did, boy, I ain't right Hopping on my shit, just making moves, keep my gang tied Bitch, I'm on my shit, you niggas know a nigga been nice Moving through these streets, got my money, man, it been right I don't like you niggas, never did, boy, I ain't right Hopping on my shit, just making moves, keep my gang tied So... Like I said, if you got waves, that's cool. And then, like I said, over here, you can actually throw a reverb from waves over here if you want to. Let's go to, um, let's just type in reverb. Waves should be in here somewhere, man. Uh, H-verb, so let's do an H-verb. <clears throat> I'm not gonna do any reverb timing, you guys. I got a, a video that you can check out on how to time your reverb. So what I'll do with this is, I'll just play it with the reverb the way it is real quick. Bitch, I'm on my shit, you niggas know a nigga been nice Moving through these streets, got my money, man, it been right I don't like you niggas, never did, boy, I ain't right Hopping on my shit, just making moves, keep my gang tied Bitch, I'm on my shit, you niggas know a nigga been nice And then if you want, you know what I'm saying, you can add the uh, delay from, from uh, Waves also Let's see um, H dash, and it should come up with H delay, stereo. <clears throat> I'll do a quarter note. Um, turn the analog down. Now, if you want to get like a telephone effect, you can use, you can use these uh, high pass and low pass, low pass filters to do that. Moving through these streets, got my money, man, it been right. I don't like you niggas, never did, boy, I ain't right. Hopping on my shit, just making moves, keep my gang tied. And then as y'all can see with this one, I use the uh, SSL channel. You know what I mean? Now, if you want to spice this vocal up with the SSL channel, you can actually, um, well, actually, I already did it for you. I already cut uh, some of the low uh, mid uh, mid frequency down right here. I cut some of the low mid down. I um, added just a tad bit of EQ with the uh, high frequency uh, band on this one. And then, like I said, with the uh, gate, I actually gave you guys a little bit of gate to clean some of the noise in your room. And then <clears throat> I use wave real tunes. Now the thing with this one, all you gotta do, same thing with this is know the key of your song. And then what you can do is you can actually, you know, set the uh, key of song down here. So if it's a E sharp minor or whatever, you just go sharp, then natural minor. Or if it's just an E minor, you just go E natural minor. And then I already have everything set. So all you gotta do with this is look at the range. You know what I mean? Look at the tone of your vocals or whatever you do it. If you're a baritone, tenor, alto, whatever you are, soprano, you know what I mean? So use one of those. You'll see the keys moving where you belong. So just click on it. Mine was bass, so I, I put it on bass. Um, that's with that. That's it with this one. Just know the key of your song, place it in that one. 
You know what I mean? Then I actually used the GQ Classic to clean up. I took some of the air out of the vocals around uh, 125, 100. 100 pretty much takes out some of the air. That that would be some. That's where some of the air is. And then um, actually I didn't take it out. So if you have one, if you see 100, just turn it down. And then um, 200, uh, you know, like I said, with, with the same uh, frequency bands as the other EQs, all these, these are just better as in knobs. I can just get to them pretty fast and, you know, create like right away. So that's pretty much it with this one. I set the tone for you guys on this one. You know what I mean? I gave it a, a low end cut right here around 100, you know, cleaning up the area right there. And then I threw the CLA-2A on this one. As y'all can see what I was talking about with this one. Let's see. I'm on my shit, you niggas know a nigga been nice Moving through these streets, got my money, man, it been right I don't like you niggas, never did, boy, I lay Alright, cool, so you see what I did right there with that one You know what I mean, the CLA-2A on there that was cool for y'all, boom. And then I got the API 550 to add a little bit of EQ to it. Now, if there's too much EQ, you can actually dial it back if you want to, put it to two, you know what I mean? That'd be cool, whatever you feel. If it's not enough EQ, take it to six, depending on your mic, you may have to take it to nine. It all depends. If it doesn't sound like a good clarity, if it doesn't sound like clarity to you, just boost it a little bit if you want, you know what I mean? And then we got the de on it, boom, the de will take out some of the, uh, you know, some of the syllables that you use, like the S's and T's and, you know what I mean, all that crazy stuff. I got that set for you. If it's too much threshold, like I said, if it's, if once you once you see it and it's um it's hitting past negative 12 or whatever, just dial it up some to take it down to around the middle of uh, negative six between these two so you can see it right here. That'll, you know, knock that out for you right there. So just dial the threshold down some. And then I also added the L1 limiter for you guys. So if this is too loud for you, bring it down a little bit. But like I said, I did this so that, you can just go up and down with the volume to blend it with your song to get it to go. You know what I mean? And then that'll be cool for you right there. And um, also with this one, I also did a, uh, I did an ad lib. I did an ad lib for two. So let's just go to, let's go over here to the down arrow. Let's go to NBM Vox ad, and that'll be this one. Same thing. Now with this one, I did, I did add a delay to it, so you guys can kind of get the little delay to it. And if you want to spice it up, if you're a singer and you're doing something like this, and you got the auto tune on it, and you can sing, and it's dope. Bust a doubler, man. You know what I mean? Just do another scene and bust a doubler too by Waves and watch how your vocal sound is going to be crazy. You know what I mean? Even add like a small little flanger to it. I'm going to show you all how to mix R&B vocals again, man. I got my boy uh, Sequence Clark who did a, a hook for me, which is so dope. You know what I mean? And I definitely want to put that song out, but I'm going to mix the hook so you guys can hear it. Um, let's play it back with this one. No. Right. Top and bitch, I'm on my shit. You niggas know a nigga been nice. Nah. Moving through these streets. Got my money, man, it been right. Yeah. I don't like you niggas, never did. Boy, y'all ain't right. No. Hopping on my shit, just making moves. Keep my gang tight. Right. Bitch, I'm on my shit. You niggas know a nigga been nice. Been nice. Moving through these streets. All right, cool. So, like I said, you got that on there. That's pretty dope. You know what I mean? Like, these are some dope presets for you. So, you got the stock. You know what I mean? And you got the wave. So if you don't have stock, I mean, if you don't have waves, you can use stock. If you if you don't like stock, then you can use waves. Either way, it's going to work for you. But for my people who don't have waves, I created a stock preset for you guys. And you guys can just throw it on there. Man, I don't, you know what I'm saying? So I haven't been seeing too many Studio One users really rocking with these videos. But I still put them up. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, man, I'm in it for the love. You know what I mean? Um, Yeah, so you got the stock and you got the waves. And then, like I said, that's cool if you want to add the reverb. You can add, you know, bust your reverb and bust the delay. I didn't put it on the uh, actual preset itself. And then um, I'm going to show you guys how to install these presets too. So let's show you how to do that real quick. Now, to install these presets, once you download the presets, you know, wherever your download, whatever, wherever your download is, just go to your download, open up the presets, and this is what you're going to do. So if you on a, if you on a, um, Mac, you're going to go to uh, Documents, and then you're going to go to Studio One and Documents, and then in here you're going to go to Presets, and then you're going to go to Presonus, FX Chains, and then you're going to go to Vocals. But you can actually create your own folder in FX Chains if you want to. Hey, hey be quiet, man. You can create your own uh, preset in FX Chains if you want to, and then just uh, copy and paste them or drag them into the vocal one that you see. And then you can actually just pull those presets up. Now, the dope part about this is, is you can actually just drag that on. So if you got a PC, you can actually just drag this straight onto your uh, onto your timeline. I mean, onto your uh, onto your vocal and effects to come straight on and you'll be good to go. 
and you be good to go. So you can just drag and drop these presets. That's what's pretty dope about it. That's what I do like. And then I got like a whole bunch of presets for this uh, Studio One. So man, I'm gonna make a little, little. I'm gonna make a little pack, man. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be really cheap. You know what I mean? Super cheap. But it's just to, you know what I mean? Kind of help, kind of help me grow a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, man. And that's pretty much it, man. Like I said, I showed you guys how to install the presets, where to put the presets, and how to use them, man. And 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 you'll be good to go. So that's pretty much it, man. It's your boy NBM. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, man, and doing the thing, man. Hey, y'all take care, bro. I'm out. Yo, and that's the preset for y'all, man. You know what I mean? I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope y'all can work with it. Like I said, these presets are easy to use. All you gotta do is move your volume up and down to how you want your sound to be, how loud you want your vocals to be, if you want them to sit over the mix or you want it to sit in the mix. It's up to you how you want it, but I created those presets just so you can do that. And if you need to tweak a few little buttons with your compression, if it's too much compression, you can dial it back. If it's a little bit too much EQ, dial the EQ down just a tad bit. But like I said, I showed you guys the knobs on what to do. Very easy. Easy, very creative, super dope. You know what I mean? It's a free preset. I mean, it's a free preset for you guys. Like I said, I just like to show love, man. You know what I mean? I like to get to my people. And make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know what y'all think about the content. Hit that thumbs up. That'd be that like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it's a button down below. We said subscribe. Click that button. Hey, y'all take care, man. Be safe out there. You already know what we about to do. We about to roll our outro. Let's get it. Thank you.